Hi, I'm Tim Aubrey from DMAD Marine Mammals Research Association and today we're going to be looking at how we can build a survey area and how we can use the difference tool in QGIS to remove unwanted parts of our polygon. Okay, so now that we've got our buffered track line, we've got a much better idea of the area that we're actually viewing. And so we're going to create our survey area. So go to layer, create layer, new shapefile layer because we're going to make a new polygon layer. Go to your file. I've already got one, so I'm just going to overwrite it. Make sure you select polygon and geometry type. And we're going to make sure that we've, we're have using UTM zone 47. So we're staying in the same UTM zone as the previous lesson. And then click OK. And because I already had this layer, I've just got this warning for, uh, message, but you probably won't get this. Okay, so once I've got that, make sure I've edited it using the digitizing toolbar. And then go to add polygon feature. Um, I've already turned my snaps on, but if you haven't, then go to project, snappy options, click the magnet, and then turn these two on. And I'm going to go from a point on the land, so it looks roughly about there. And then I'm going to just click along the edge of my... Poly, uh, my buffered track line and then once I'm happy I'm just going to go to the central point of each line to create my survey area so the central point of each transect that comes out just like this then I'm going to go down the other side okay now what we could do although it would be quite arduous is we could actually trace the entire coastline but what we're going to do instead is we're just going to bring the survey area in the survey area inside like this and then just right click call it ID 1 okay and you can see that I've just misclicked here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to adjust this you'll hopefully remember this in the vertex tools I'm just going to bring this inside as well Okay, and now if we've been really lazy, we could just bring this survey area below our Thailand administrative file, and we might be happy with what we've got here. Um, apart from the horrible colour, but we're going to leave that for now. Um, but obviously, we're professionals, so we're not going to just leave it like that. So. If we go to layer, uh, sorry, go to vector, geoprocessing tools, and this time we're going to select difference. And what difference is going to do is going to remove all of that area which is uh, overlapping with the Thailand shapefile. So our input layer is going to be our survey area, and output layer is going to be the Thailand file, so THA underscore ADM1, and then we're just going to run this. Okay, and now if we remove our original survey area because we don't need that anymore. We can discard it, we don't need it at all. And we'll remove our buffer. You might want to leave your track lines on. Sometimes it's nice to see the track line on there as well. And we can see our actual survey area. Uh, if I remove the Thailand, well if I just turn the layer off you can see that it's covered our survey area and that can be quite useful because once we do this we we're able to calculate things like the actual area of this polygon and things okay see you in the next lesson thanks for watching bye